I'm making this table from a scrap 2x4 that I had lying around from making workbenches. And I'm starting off by cutting 4 pieces at 14 and a quarter inches. These are going to be for the tabletop, so I do have to do a little bit of milling just to clean these up, get some clean edges so I can do a nice glue up. Now to be honest, I had no idea what kind of design I wanted for this table when I started. All I wanted for sure was a circular top, so I'd have an excuse to try out my jig I made to cut circles on the bandsaw. To prep for cutting the circle, I had to first mark off the center point, and then drill out a pivot point only part way through the tabletop. Now I found out the tabletop was actually too small for the slider on the jig, but I thought maybe it would be cool if I cut off the corners, so instead of a circle there would just be rounded off corners. I ended up really hating this design, so instead of going with this, I drilled another pivot point just further forward and used a dowel so I could pivot the tabletop on that and cut out the smaller circle. To finish off the tabletop, I routed one side with a Roman OG bit. The other side I left flat, and I actually really liked how this turned out. Next I had to figure out what to do for the leg, which again I had no idea what I wanted, but I thought some curves would be cool. So I cut out a 22 inch piece first. This is going to be the main post of the leg, so 22 inches is the total height. I then cut out two pieces, half of that at 11 inches. These are giving me more space on either side to cut curves. For gluing it up, I'm simply gluing these 11 inch pieces on opposite ends of the 22 inch piece. This is how I'm giving myself more space to cut curves. While waiting for the glue to dry, I started on the feet, cutting out a 13 inch piece, and this will be used for both feet that branch out from the leg. Now for the design, I figured I might as well continue with the curve idea of what I'm doing so far, so I used my beam compass to draw out a few curves from center points. And this way when I cut it out, basically I'm gonna have two duplicate pieces without having to try to stick these together and use a router template or something like that. Instead of doing math, I'm using the tabletop and a 2x4 to trace out the angle I have to cut on both of these feet to attach to the leg later on. The feet were looking a little two-dimensional, so I thought it would look nicer if I cut out another curve on the other axis, I guess you could say. This way it's really nice because it tapers away from that center leg, like this as you can see here. Now moving back to the leg, I wanted some kind of curve along this and I had to attach the feet at some angle, so I just started milling this down while I tried to think of a design. Once again, I'm using the beam compass because of how well that worked before, just drawing out a bunch of different curves on this. Now, something I ended up coming up with here is kind of adding sort of a split, I guess. You can see me cutting out here. I thought at the top I could kind of split it in two different curves and that would look neat. And that's where this really started to take shape. It kind of gave it a branch or antler-ish type of look. And this is where I really started to think like, you know what, this could be really cool as a drink table, kind of like a whiskey drink table, but I don't drink whiskey, so since it's antlerish, I guess this is my Yeg table. Moving on to assembly, I'm starting off by just gluing the leg to the tabletop. I am keeping in mind the direction of the grain here, but this really isn't a strong joint by itself anyway. 
I just wanted to get this to dry so it would be easier for adding dowels later because this wouldn't be moving around on me. Since it was so hard to clamp, uh, this seemed like the best approach. And I guess another option would be CA glue. That could help too. Now bear with me on this last part. I thought it would be fun to use a laser level to try matching up where the feet have to attach to the leg. Basically just using the laser line to line up the bottom of the leg and the two feet that stick out. And this worked great, but obviously it's not necessary at all. Next all I had to do is some final sanding, just cleaning up all the dowel areas and then the rest of the pieces that I haven't already pre-sand. And for finishing, I went with something really dark to try to help, I guess, complement the weird design. I went with just a black walnut Danish oil stain.